in this session we are going to discuss uh, literary devices uh, used by a e. houseman in the poem farewell to barn and stack and tree you know many of them by now we discuss them in detail how they are used in the poem how they are used in the poem okay first technique first one The first person point of view. The first person point of view. Person point of view. The first person point of view. Write down. Write down. The story of the poem. The story of the poem. is narrated in a double r a t d the story of the poem is narrated narrated by by one of by one of the two brothers by one of the two brothers mentioned in the poem by one of the two brothers mentioned in the poem mentioned in the poem second one second technique Second technique. Personification. Personification. personification write down the farm the farm the farm animals 
the farm, the farm animals, and and the farming tools. T double O L S, and the farming tools. and the farming tools are regarded as are regarded as close c l o s e close associates close associates of there is a Close associates of the speaker. The speaker. Please caught these lines. Long for me the rick will wait, and long will wait the fold. So long will wait the fall. Go on writing. The Rick. The Rick. Highlight within our Kamash. The Rick and the Fold. Are regarded as some persons. Are regarded as some persons. Waiting for, waiting for the speaker's return. Waiting for the speaker's return. The fold means animals. The rick means harvest, crops, the rick. On writing, the speaker even says, the speaker even says, next sentence, the speaker even says goodbye, goodbye. To his farm. And seven show giving them some giving them some human aspects. Please caught. Farewell to barn and stack and tree. Farewell to seven show. Giving them some human aspect.
right next technique tone the way he speaks the tone of the poem i round the tone of the poem to your ending the tone of the poem is is sorrowful is sorrowful painful painful full of disappointment full of disappointment full of disappointment and repenting asuta hai na repenting technique fourth technique regular regular versification r e g u l a r regular versification go to the poem right now look at the poem now you see this poem has several verses so stanzas this is one stanza this is another stanza or verse this is another verse another one another one another one there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six stanzas or six verses you look at them these verses have equal number of lines with the same rhyming pattern and same rhythm hmm. it is regular regular means in order systematical ah all poems all stanzas verses have equal number of lines now here four lines here four lines here again four lines ah these are the rules of regular versification the poem has a regular shape that is the idea regular shape from what had a pattern on it okay write down regular versification the poem has the poem has six stanzas or verses p e r s a c s six tenses
with equal number of lines <clears throat> with equal number of lines and this and the same and the same rhythm r h y t h e m r h y t h m rhythm the same rhythm r h y t h m rhythm Same rhythm. Regular versification. Okay. Next technique. Fifth one. Symbolism. 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 Write down. The burning sun, the burning sun, I light the burning sun. symbolizes symbolizes the burning sun symbolizes harvesting season Harvesting Harvesting Season H A R B E S T I Harvesting Season Harvesting Season S E A S E A S O N season. Harvesting season. And also the painful, the painful feelings. And also the painful feelings in the speaker's heart. In the speaker's heart. In the speaker's heart. H G A R T. In the speaker's heart. Full stop.
ब्लड ब्लड कौन राइट इन ब्लड हाईलाइट ब्लड नाइफ हाईलाइट विथ इनर कमास हाईलाइट के बुरा इनर कमास दान ब्लड नाइफ ब्लड नाइफ and bloody hands bloody hands blood knife and bloody hands a symbolic of a a r e a symbolic of symbolic of crime c r i m e crime and violence crime and violence crime and violence crime and violence full stop crime and violence next sentence lamas tied lamas tied write the correct spelling lamas tied is another symbol 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 is another symbol that many faced that many face show that many face that many faced luck happiness fulfillment and prosperity luck happiness fulfillment and prosperity 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 full stop full stop the empty plate highlight the empty plate
the empty plate is symbolically used. The empty plate is symbolically used to depict symbolically used to depict the e p i c t depict the emptiness emptiness and loneliness loneliness put the kalaba loneliness in the farmhouse in the farmhouse as well as in the in the heart of H -E -A -R -T, in the heart of the speaker's mother in the heart of the speaker's mother next technique write down Sixth one, sound devices. Sound devices. Rhyming. Rhyming. Write down the poet uses the poet uses a regular a regular R E G U L A R regular in rhyming. Regular in rhyming with the pattern of A B A B with the pattern of A B A B with the pattern of A B A B. With the pattern of A B A B. Right. Please caught. Please caught the words. Some examples. Three show. Me more. Three. Show. Three. Show. Me. More. Ratio me more. Next sound device. B alliteration. B 
alteration. Try down. Alteration. Parents, look to a last at me. Caught this line. Parents, look to a last at me. Underline L. L sound. Alteration. Le sound. Right. Another example caught. Long for me, the Rick will wait, underline were sound. Will wait. Right. Next sound device, assonance. Assonance. Please caught. Oh, I come home no more. Oh, I come home no more. Underline all O sounds. For O. Home O. No O. More or write down the repeated O sound, the repeated O sound implies I M P L I E S, the repeated O sound implies. The speaker's sorrow and pain. The speaker's sorrow and pain. Sorrow and pain. The speaker's sorrow and pain. Right? The speaker's sorrow and pain. Okay. Uh, that's all about the major literary devices used in this poem. Major literary devices used in this poem. Uh, 